Hello, my name is Marty and welcome back to another video. Well, I'm stood in the middle of a wasteland. Four years ago I came here and I did a video about the old derelict Hartford Mill in Chatterton in Oldham. Look at it now. All that remains standing is the chimney there. And the chimney's on borrowed time because I've got a story to tell you about it. Well, first let's go over towards it. Yeah, I came here quite a few times. First time with Lewis when the mill was complete and we went inside and had a look round. And I came back during a couple of various stages of its demolition. It was left with two towers standing and that, they were left standing because there were bats up in the top of them roosting. So that delayed the demolition and I never actually caught the towers going down. The chimney, I'm going to try and catch if I can. Um, it's disorientating being here because where there once stood a mill or even parts of a mill, I'm now stood in the middle of a just a wasteland that flattened the place completely. So this week's video is set in Chatterton in Oldham and there you go there, it's its relationship to Manchester city centre and we're going to have a bit of a reminisce about the old Hartford cotton mill that used to stand in the area and we'll capture the final few months of the huge chimney that was attached to the mill and ultimately its destruction by dynamite. So in this Britain from Above picture, which is around about the 1930s, 1940s, you'll see that row of houses there uh, just in front. Well, the, the place is surrounded by terraced houses, now long since gone, but you'll see that row of houses there. Well, Roy managed to catch them just as they were being demolished. I came in this first about 2018. Uh, Roy must have come a little bit earlier and he caught those houses when they were boarded up. Uh, so no doubt they saw some life and uh, I think being from the area back in the 70s and the 80s we used to drive down that way and I think I do remember looking at the mill when I was a kid back in the like I say 70s 80s. So the chimney's actually on borrowed time it's the 2nd of April today and technically the chimney should be on its side flattened because it was due to be demolished this morning uh, I got a copy, well, thank you to everyone that sent me a copy of the letter that went out to the local residents saying the demolition is due 2nd of April but it didn't happen so it's been delayed again. This whole demolition has been full of uh, uh, delays and everything. Um, so it's on borrowed time. Oh, yes. Right, so the interesting thing is the chimney's been marked out ready for the demolition and uh, what they've done, the funny light here today, lost, the sun's quite low. <laughs> we take it that's the way it's going to go. So it's going to go that way on the site towards where you see them flats there but obviously it's the, the whole site is is that way is that the bit that i suppose the biggest space is that way so they've marked it there and then the holes for where they're going to put the dynamite have been marked as well uh there now the interesting thing that roy spotted was you see how the, there's one there and then it goes in like that so it kind of like goes in like that and then they've got all these holes here marked the dynamite and then a cut in there now whether they're going to cut out there and go inside and continue the drilling from the inside I'm not sure but there's going to be some flues underneath there isn't there and then you'll see here the sun will shine now but you'll see here uh, more holes for more dynamite see it and then um, we've got the other technical drawing there saying out a few cracks in it look at that few cracks already bloody hell right through the brick there as well so uh <laughs> looks a bit not so good does it but uh there you go lightning conductors sat there just cut short and then round the other side i've got something to show you that i wouldn't have known about if it hadn't been for uh fred dibner's video how to ladder a chimney but a wooden plug go. uh Wooden plugs. So if you watch the video, Fred Dibner, How to Ladder a Chimney, you'll see that he, he chiseled out a hole in the brickwork and then he would ram a piece of wood in and then he would knock in uh, what he called a dog and he'd rope the ladder to the dog. Then goes the plug wood, which as you can see, it doesn't go in very far, you know, but it's quite far enough, you know, it's quite safe. Um, and that's what's termed as a dog. Uh, and I'm going to knock in, in now, uh, knock in, in now. I don't know whether Fred ever came here. I'm not saying it's Fred. That method would have probably been used widely by other um, uh, steeple jacks. But here, take a look at this. There you go, bit of plug wood there. And then you can see there, another one there where it's been filled and another one there. So that would have been the way they laddered it. 
directly up to the top up there and where there was plug wood to maintain it there's now going to be a hole for dynamite for a while we wondered whether we were going to bring a nibbler on to nibble it down and bring it down with one of those high reaches but clearly looking at those marks they're going to uh, dynamite it so yeah it's been a very long protracted drawn out process the demolition of this mill like I say, I was here in 2018 filming it when it was derelict. I think the demolition of the mill started 2019. And of course, inevitably, as work went on, it hit COVID. So that stopped everything. Then it um, things after a long pause, I think it was well over a year, things uh, got underway again. Then there was found to be bats in one of the, uh, one of the stair towers, I think. So that... Um, that delayed everything again and finally they brought the two towers to two remaining towers down and as always with these projects the the chimney is the last thing to be brought down 2nd of april 2023 was the initial date given to all the residents in the area but uh, i think it coincided with the uh, ramadan so the residents asked for it to be delayed and uh, then there was talk I think I was chatting to someone that knew someone that worked on the site. There was then talk about getting one of these big nibbling machines with high reach nibblers to bring it down. And then um, that was the last I heard. And then the next I heard was uh, given the date of um, October and they were going to blast it with dynamite. Um, so there it stands awaiting its fate so at that point there that's the 2nd of april uh, 2023 this year and it still had a six month reprieve yet so we made the most of it and filmed as much of it as we could and uh, recorded as much as we could so roy spotted somewhere else now what have we spotted this here we've also got some work some diagrams on the uh, on the brickwork there, so what are they saying? So the area where we've just pointed out with the dots, where they're going to blast it, Yeah. this corner, these quadrants here, Yeah. you can see now it's basically going to weaken this entire from top to bottom or bottom to top, so all that side will collapse in on itself and it'll come Send this it. way. Yeah. So and there's a bit more relates to that. And there's working this. out there as well. So, so somebody's been having a conversation with someone and having a bit of a uh, working stuff out. A few numbers on here as well. All interesting stuff in it. Uh, I'd love to press the plunger. <laughs> and what I'm going to show you, if we just come away from the chimney at the minute, when I stand here now, if you look over there, it's completely disorientated because over there, that was like in, I think a yard. We got into the mill that way, and then down here was the uh, the boiler rooms. We actually came in the boiler rooms. If you look at that that uh, video, it was called an old Lancashire cotton mill. Okay, so I think we've found the boiler house and these would have been the old Lancashire boilers. This riveted design is more what you'd expect a boiler to look like and there's, there is three of them. Now, whether there was a fourth one down here below me, I don't know, but these are definitely the boiler, uh, the, this is definitely the boiler house. And the way I look now, they've completely gone. So we were down there. And there was a big tank down there somewhere. Oh yeah, have they dug them out? No, no, they've covered them over. Yeah, so the boiler rooms were down here and I was down here. I remember coming up here and standing. I stood by the chimney there. I remember giving you a bit of a talk about Fred's contraption to see when the chimney was listing over. He used a, a bar, didn't he, in the brickwork. So very disorientating now the mill's gone. But yeah, just where there was boiler rooms there was now just a big hole. So Roy's going to send the uh, mechanical bird up for one last time and we'll get some shots and see what it's like up there. The problem is, he's birds, isn't it? Because when the drone goes up, the local birds seem to start circling it and they think it's another bird. And sometimes they go in for the attack, yeah. don't they? So not only do they injure themselves, which we don't want, but they bring the bloody drone down. So uh, birds are a bit of a problem. They're a new problem in the drone in the... Uh, World, aren't they? <laughs> See from some of the footage how close they yeah. come. It's yeah, crazy. apparently he's got some footage already where there's bloody birds flying really near it. Right, let's crack on and get it up there. That's it.
So Hartford Mill was built in 1907 and it was designed by architect Frederick Whittaker Dixon who built or designed quite a few mills in the Oldham area. Uh, the mill was designed for the Hartford Mill of Company in Oldham and it was extended in 1920 and 1924. Around about 1959 is the date I've got for it to um, stop in uh, functioning as a cotton mill. And around about that time, that saw the decline of the cotton spinning industry in Britain. Um, later, the uh, mail order company Littlewoods moved into it and operated from there for quite a while. Um, I think uh, till about the, the early 1990s, 1991, 1993, whereupon the mill was given grade two listed status. Not that it did the mill any good at all. Um, Littlewoods moved out and then since then it stood completely vacant and went into a state of dereliction. Um, a fire significantly damaged it in 2014. Unfortunately, it was a draw for the local kids. Local teenagers used to hang about in there and a teenager died there after falling through uh, one of the, a roof, it says, in 2015. Um, it was proposed for, proposed for demolition in 2018 and indeed that got underway and we caught it in a video just before the demolition started. Demolition took quite a long time because it hits COVID and where we are now here uh, as we're filming in April 2023, we've just got the chimney left standing. Right, I have to credit Roy for the following, all these pictures and this footage. So I wanted to show you this picture just to show you how the mill dominated the area. Um, and then there's a picture there of the uh, that, that building there on the back is the engine room. Now, when I went, from what I remember, we couldn't get into the engine room. Roy had gone before me. So here's some footage now of his, uh, where he went into the engine room. And you'll see where there were big mounts for the big engine to sit. And there was a big, there would have been a big wheel. And I think they drove the machines. They were, they were rope driven, the, uh, the, the uh, spinning machines. And then would you look at this, look at the beautiful detail on these tiles. I mean, we talk about Victorian workmanship. I mean, it lasted into the Edwardian era. This mill would have been Edwardian. Look at the green tiles there. That was what was on the wall in the engine room. I'd love to have got one of those, to be honest with you. I really would have. But look at the beautiful, beautiful detail there. Um, something I had chance of doing, but I didn't do. So this was, uh, this was, went through to the flue. This was from the boiler rooms and it went through to the, this was the flue. Not a very good picture, but you get the idea. Up the chimney. That's the most interesting thing for me. So let's go down here and see what's in there. Cause it looks very interesting, doesn't it? Certainly, uh, no, maybe this isn't it. Cause you'd have thought it would be blackened, wouldn't you, with soot. But that door, right, that door's going nowhere. But it looks promising, doesn't it? Shove the uh, camera through. Difficult to know. And there you go. Uh, that's looking up the chimney on the inside. Now, obviously we talk about the mill being in a poor state of repair towards the end of its life. The following footage from the inside just shows how bad it got in there. It was a grey, rainy day on the 1st of October 2023. Demolition was scheduled for 10 o'clock. The rain came and went and so did the demolition time. 10 o'clock, 10.15, 10.30. Each time we tried to get the drone up and we were panicking over trying to capture it and trying to film it. As much as we didn't want to see the chimney go, we wanted to capture its last moments. If it had gone at 10.30, it was throwing it down. 
in that really, really heavy rain, we had to bring the drone down and we would have had no choice but to have missed it. Fortunately, it got rescheduled for 10.45. We stood with the crowd of people watching and waited and waited. And finally, at 10.47, 1st of October 2023, all those years of history and all the men and women that toiled in the mill and that built the mill, all that history came crashing to the ground.